The next pattern in the Moving Features Between Objects series is called Inline Class, and it's sort of the opposite of the pattern we recently covered called Extract Class. You'll even recognize the code as the same example from Extract Class, where at the end of that example, we eliminated these fields that we no longer needed and updated any calling code to reflect the new field. Well, suppose while we were updating that calling code, we found that it didn't make a lot of sense to make those updates and that we still needed to keep these delegations around for some reason. Or suppose we were dealing with something a lot more complex than a telephone number and we were going to be adding more fields and adding more delegations. And eventually we get to the point where, though structurally in a very object-oriented sense, it made a lot of sense to us to have this extra class, eventually it becomes difficult to support in some cases. And so in those cases, we might want to get rid of that class because it's not saving us enough work to justify its existence. Everything has to delegate to it. We have to have all these pass-throughs. So let's just inline that class back into the person class here. So the first thing we'll do is we'll look at this field because it has no setter, so it's a very easy one to move. And it requires these other ones, so if we moved one of them first, then we wouldn't be able to make this work at all. So let's take the logic from that and move it back into the class where we're going to inline it. Oops. And now we can get rid of that field entirely. And then one at a time we can continue with the other fields. We can turn this one into a auto-implemented field and get rid of that. Then we can do the same thing with this. And naturally, in a larger, more complex system, between each of these, we can run our tests, make sure we haven't broken anything. And now, nothing is using this, this telephone number field other than the constructor itself, which we'll no longer need at this point because we're just going to get rid of that field. And now nothing is using that class. So we've essentially inlined that functionality into the only place where it was being used, where everything was really just adding up as a, uh, a series of pass-through methods, which was doubling any support work needed for modifications to that class. That's it for the inline class pattern. Thanks for watching.